Okay, so I'm ready for section two. Now, I've had a little look through section two, and it seems to me that it's in three stages. It looks like I'll be building the undercarriage of the pilot's cockpit, mounting the convex dish window on the front, building a hatch, and then assembling that hatch onto the top, and finally completing the rear section, which would leave me with pretty much everything but the wings. Now, that looks like very complicated detail work. Um, lots of fiddly little parts that go into the construction and assembly. It does seem quite complicated, but it got me thinking, how can I make this a similar experience to Star Wars itself? Well, we know that uh, the character here, Solo, it's Solo that managed to do the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. I know technically parsecs are more akin to distance rather than time, but I've decided, let's get into this, I'm going to time myself and try and beat 12 parsecs. Trouble is, what is 12 parsecs? In light years, a parsec's about three and a third light year, so I'd be looking at about 40 human years. That's no test at all. Um, so let's dispense with parsecs. Let's just see how quickly can I get this done. Well, if I was like Solo, I would find a shortcut, wouldn't I? Which you could say is a bit of a cheat. So if I was to open this bag and lay out all the parts, I certainly would be able to do it a little bit quicker, having them all laid out, clearly seeing where they are. In order to be fair, I'm going to start my stopwatch, which I haven't got, so actually when I edit this video, I'm going to add in a stopwatch. I'm going to do it from the moment I open the bag until the moment I get to, I'm, I'm currently on step 27, and by the time I get to step 56, I'm going to time how long it takes me to do that. Okay, so absolutely no cheating involved. I'm just moving section one out of the way. Solo can wait over there. Tobias, Beckett can wait over there with him. And I'm going to be adding my stopwatch to start now. So let's tip out section two. And let's get the small bag of parts over here. I am already, my stopwatch is going, but I'm going to be moving some of these parts around just so I can give myself a bit more of a clue of what I've got going. Okay, so what am I starting with? I'm looking for a base section. Yep, that would be, yes, that would be the base section there. I'm also looking for two small black circular dots which go at the front of the base section like so. Um, then I need two two by one little triangle pieces which appear to go on here. Ah, I wish I did have a real stopwatch because I could see how, how fast or slowly I'm doing this. Two by two black piece goes right at the back, followed by translation red two by one. My assistant says I'm already one minute in but I am onto page two, looking for another red piece and a right angle two by one bracket. White, right angle two by one bracket. Red piece, okay. Bracket on the end. Red piece in the tail. A black angle bracket, got that. And then there's a similar black angle with a clip. There he is. Okay, angle bracket mounted onto the white piece, clip at the front pointing upwards. Two grey clip sections. Where are they? There's one. And there's the other. Okay, so they go adjacent to the black section, clip at the bottom. 
like so. And then we need laser cannon. Right, do I have a laser cannon? Yes. I actually, and it's got the mechanism inside. That's fantastic, there's two of those. So laser cannons either side. One, two. We then have two, uh, a four by one, there's two of those, and they go at the side of the laser cannons. We then need a black four by one length. It's only got two raised dots, smooth in the middle, blue two by two, and a one by two piece possibly with a, an air vent or something, or a slider. That looks like it, like a little air vent. Okay, where does that go? Okay, the little air vent thing goes behind the black clip, followed by the blue, no, let's take that off. It's the four by two black bar first, followed by the vent for want of a better expression and then the blue section. I wonder if that's a seat for the pilot. Okay so we've now got a u-shaped grey 4x1 flared at the ends, there we go, and two little 2x1 triangular greys, there we go, that goes behind this, the blue section and the greys at the edge. There we go. We've got a, a dog leg section, that shape. Two of those are mounted either side of those wings. One, two. On to the next page. We need a three by two grey block and two very small triangular profile sections, smooth, looks like these are them. Right, uh, okay, so there's two of these, yep, there's the other one. So they go in the middle, and the triangular sloped profile goes in front. Like so, so far, so good. On to step number 40. So I'm nearly halfway through this section. Five um, minutes seven. Five minutes in, I'm taking far too long. We need four two by one triangular sections. One, two, three, four. And where do they go? That is the question. Um, They appear to go at the front edge, one, two, but I, I cannot see where, ah, and they go right on the very front as well, okay, they're staggered. So there's, there's the four triangular sections, now we need two triangular sloping profiles and they go to meet the previous small profiles and they kind of hold those front sections in place. Four right angle brackets, one, two, three, four, appear to go into the corners to hold all of the pieces of the corners together. Okay, that was easy. I've now got um, an upright U-shape, one, I need two of them, let's find the other one, there's the other one, and they go facing inwards on the outside edge, there we go, facing inwards on the outside edge. We've then got a couple of hinge pieces in black or dark grey, that's one piece. And there's the accompanying section to it, so that gets pre-assembled. 
join those together. And then that clips into that black clip at the front. We have that facing outwards. So I wonder if that's going to form the hatch to get the pilot in. Right, now we need to pre-assemble um, two wing sections using a dark red or maroon upright. There's two of them. Gray two by ones with a single middle stud. And there's the other one and dark grey triangular section. Okay, so it literally clips on. One piece pre-assembled. Second piece pre-assembled. And that fits onto this side. Or should do. Yeah, there we go. That fits onto each side. Turn the page. Okay, now we can assemble this section into uh, stage one. Now, how does it all fit together? That's the question. It looks like it's literally just a case of Clipping it together, yeah. There was only one way that could go together, so that's that's nice and easy. Right, now we have a little icon, which I guess means flip it upside down. So we're now working on the base. We're looking for a six by two dark gray, should be two of them, and they assemble on either side of the, the winged section, there we are. We need a triangle block, three by two, that's one, there's two of those. They go again in the sides, each side of the pilot area, over the page. And what's my time at the moment? Nine minutes, 43. Will I do it in 12 minutes? One minute to a parsec, who knows? Right, these two sections and two red, they're going facing inwards with the red clipped into place, pre-assembled, facing inwards at the end of that. Step 50, I need two tiny profile triangles and two slightly larger triangle profiles. Where do they go? The small one goes right at the very front. There's the two small ones at the front and just behind it clips in the L-shaped larger section two grey triangle wing sections there, which go on the very top. Eleven. I've got eleven minutes on the clock. I'm over onto the last section, two tiny Two triangle sloped pieces. I've got the front apex clipping in somewhere. 11.28. At the bottom, there we go. Two tiny clips with two profiles to go with them. There's the profiles, there's the clips. And they go at the rear, pre-assembled onto the... 11.55, 11.58, 12. And let's 
flip the page. And now I've failed the 12 parsec, 12 minutes solo. I don't know how he did it. You're an amazing solo. I don't know how you did it. We just have a few pieces left. So we lost the race against solo, but we're still going to plow on. We've now got our, what I think is the pilot's hatch, and that needs to be pre-assembled from several pieces. So we have the hatch itself, a four by one, a four by two, a hatch door with markings on it, another one of those little black vent things, a smooth four by one, there's two of those. So let's pre-assemble that according to the picture. Smooth ones at the side. On the back goes the two by one, four by one rather. And on the top goes the hatch facing or covering rather, covering that black vent. So that is the hatch and that goes into position on these clips here. Sure enough, it closes nicely. Right, the rear hatch now needs to be, um, or this could actually be the engine. I think this is the ion drive engine with that blue section at the back. So let's get the ion drive sorted out. That needs to be a large piece, a smaller piece, a black differential gear of some description, and a small black piece. Right, how does it all go together? Flip it over, onto there, onto there, and whack that onto the back. Yeah, it spins round nicely, so that is the ion drive. Doesn't that look absolutely incredible? 14.52, 12 seconds. So I've, I've done it in under 15 parsecs. Um, we literally are now onto the wings, which I'll come back to in a moment. But this is incredible. I, I can actually remember as about age three, holding a small car, looking inside through the window and wishing I was small enough to fit inside. And this, this is exactly the same excitement that I'm getting from this um, Imperial TIE Fighter. Okay, I'm looking forward to the next section.